Western Nyota TV, Hubarera Macheni Horula, Ho Western Nyota TV, Dira Banange Elkana Hainga. Chairman wa Boda Boda Ibunyala, Asabibana Boda Boda Beshe, Ho Manya Bulala, Ho Kosu Kabata, Bat Babera Mumu Musi Mukutikura Kwengi Muku, Yaka Awoli Luabere Mu Mukutano Nende Sheikh Ali Ngu, Dara Holire Horula Reporter Weru, Nali Jopik. Nali Busia. Eh, sisi kama boda boda vinyala sub county, kama mimi mwenye kiti Mr. Charles Juma, eh, tumechukua hii hatua kama viongozi kuita watu wa amani ili tusipiane kulingana hii uchaguzi wenye tunakaribia. Na tukambia boda boda kisha kuwa wasie tukua situmiwe katika hii siyasa hini inakuja ya 2022. Na tuta kama sisi viongozi tutakaa kidete kutuhakikisha ya kuwa boda boda ajatumiwa. Eh, mara kwa mara boda boda kuwa wanatumiwa baada ya, ya kura na wanawacho hapo wana, wana, wanaenda. Saa tumesoma kitu kuanzia miaka zizizo pita, tukasema ya kuwa lazima tukaye chini, tuchirikiane na hii team ya peace ili tuhakisha kuwa hakuna furu kwenye itakuwa katika hii subcounty ya minyala. Hata hao weishimiwa, hao wenye asafras, tunataka uhakisha kuwa tumefanya vikao nao ili boda, sector boda boda isi tumike katika furu wa uchaguzi. E, Ningeltaka uchaguzi wa minyala ukue, ukue samba, uende sambamu na usikuwe na furugi yoyote na usikuwe na makelele yote ili kila mtu aridhike na hule mwenye atakuwa ana atikia debe hapo eh, awali kulingana na eh, mwana swala la wandishu wa habari tumekua na furugu kiasi cha kwamba watu walikimbia manyumbani kwao wakakosa kulala manyumbani na ni siku za siasa si siku za vita watu wamekuwa ni kama wakutengana kabisa mtu hawezi kusalimia mwenzake kwa sababu huyu hapo kwa siasa hii na mwingine hako katika camp hii kwa hivyo tunaomba wakati huu hatutaki turudie mahali hapo tulipokuwa 2017 kwa majina ni Reverend Agassi Juma mimi kulingana na mkutano wa leo Yomba tia kwamba e, sekta zote, special sekta ya boda boda, e, watu wakue na amani, wasimuku wa kisiasa, na tufanya kila kitu kwa amani. Nikosa tunawahimiza, tukisema ya kwamba wajue hii ni kazi, na wakisha jua hii ni kazi, waiheshimu, wajiheshimu wao kama wana boda boda, ili waweke, e, waweke nidhamu katika kazi yao. Maana ni damu ikikosekana katikati yao kwa vile wana commune na watu wengi, wana kutana watu wengi. Na wako na uwezo wakufanya mambo katika muji. Ni damu ikikosekana kwao basi furubi itaingia. Kwa hivyo tumuahimiza wawe na ni damu wakati wa msimu huu wa kisiasa. Kama, kama sisi kiongozi wa boda boda mwenyele samakauti, e, tumehakisha kuwa hiyo visi kwa wazi na tunataka kufisha wana siyasa kumipanga E, tumepanga kufanya mikao na wanasiasa wote asipa kwa ugunge, tumewaita, tumepia wiki bili kujianta ili kufanya nao vikao katika hii katika ofisi yetu. Tena tumepanga wafanya, tufanya vikao nao pamoja na Madam DCC wetu, pamoja na OSPD wetu, pamoja na hii team ya peace ili tupakisha kuwa bunyana inakuwa na amani wakati huu. Tanishek Alingo, mwenye kiti wakamati ya amani na uyano ya subcounty ya bunyala. Leo hii ninafurahi kwamba tumekuwa na mkutano na viongozi wa boda boda stages 44 za subcounty ya Binala na viongozi hawa ni mtaki bana wote 5000 tunaohusia kwa sababu sasa hizi tunaelekea kwa msimu wa kisiasa tunaomba viongozi wa boda boda hawa wapeane ujumbe kwa wenzao kwamba tunataka siasa ya amani tunataka siasa ya kuleta uhusiano tunataka siasa ya upendo kwa mtakuwa mko kwamba tumeelekea yoko mwaka 2020 na 2020 tunaomba kwamba viongozi hawa wadumisha amani kwa sababu kwa sana vijana wa boda boda ndio watu wamekwamba kutumiwa sana na wanasiasa kuzua kirabisha 
lakini viongozi hawa wa subcounty ya Bunyala wametohakikishia kama ni kamati ya usalama na amani ya kwamba watadumisha amani watadumisha utendo na vile vile watakuwa pamoja na wale viongozi wa, wa kuleta amani kwenye subcounty hii na wametohakikishia ya kwamba hakutakuwa na maafa yaliyoshuhudia ya siku kama kama zimekuwa za nyuma na vile vile tumewaombea na kuombea subcounty yetu tunachoomba ni kudumisha amani na vile vile uhiano na vile vile upendo kwa msimu huu ambao tunajua ni, ni, ni msimu mgumu sana ni wakati mgumu sana kwa kila mtu kila e, mwananchi wa nchi hii yetu ya Kenya. Ushauri wangu kwa wanasiasa ni ya kwamba vijana hawa ambao kwamba ni boda boda si watu wa familia zao zinawategemea. Wasichukue muda huo kwa kuwatumia vijana hawa kwa njia ambayo kwamba si nzuri ili vijana hawa waje wapoteze maisha yao. Wengine waje na wapatikane ndani ya ajali ambazo kwamba zitawalemaza na zifanye wasiwe wenye kuhudumia familia zao. Tunaomba kwamba wakome kuwatumia vijana kwa msimu huu wa kisiasa, more especially vijana wa boda boda. Vamenyi biwadi ya Bukoli vaza onyola usirishi bulai uluandokana nende serikali ya Bungoma lui ya muwe hulomba itieta muusivitari ya Bukoli. Daka konyolea ka hurula huripota weru Wilson Muyanzi nari Bungoma. Siku ya leo kutuma eh, contractor ache aanze kutuchengea muradi wetu ambaye tumeimba kwa miaka mingi chumba la upasuwache. Bokoli ni subcount hospital, it is a peak hospital. Lakini kweli tulikuwa tunalia mara kwa mara. Wanainji, wanaumia, lakini wanapofika hapa, even minor, eh, minor issues, wanapelekwa rifao. Sai tunaona hii muradi kikucha hapa, itasaitia watu wetu. Na unaona catchment ya Bokoli, iko very wide, maane natoka kibunde, inachukua chenjeni, inachukua madisi, hachonge. Wote uwa wanakucha hapa kwa matibabu. So mimi nataka kushukuru tu the Department of Health na county government at large. Pili nataka nishukuru eh, madaktari wetu wa Subcount Hospital kwa ile kazi nzuri wanatufanyia. Kweli kweli kwa kusema ukweli wamefanya kazi na imeanza kuleta matunda. Maana mtu ukienda mahali na upate services nzuri eh, bila shaka utasema mimi na route huko. Na services ikiwa mbaya then utawana wakonjo wengi watatoroka wanatafuta matibabu mahali kwingineko hata even wala ambao walikuwa wanaenda ya chwele saa hizi wameruti wanaanza kutumia hii hospitali yetu kwa sababu ya services ambazo siko hapa so nataka tu ni wa shukuru ya kwamba mshikilie pale na msione tukiwasivu sana alafu muanze tena kuharibu uh, mwisho nataka ni warai wananchi wetu wa Bokoli uh, ya kwamba maendeleo ikicha haichakucha kwa mtu individual hii maendeleo ni uh, yenu this is your uh, tax you are ta tax pay saidia that kita inua pia hadhi ya hospitali hii ili iendelee kuhudumia area kubwa hasa around Bokoli najua hii area inahudumia zaidi ya watu 1600 na najua ya kwamba hii chumba kikiisha vile mheshimiwa ametuagiza tukiwa na ward hata levo ya hii hospitali itaenda juu this is a level four hospital and i believe itasonga mbele mahali ambayo huduma ya afya iko juu na elimu yuko juu hiyo area inaendelea na wasi watu wetu tuendelee kuunga hii hospitali and ashukuru wafanyakazi hapa wa wakiongozwa na dr betrick kwa kazi ambayo wanafanya and I jua with the support of the county government tutaendelea kwa hudumia wananchi wetu ya ya watu ili kuanga wa mama wa kuchifungua na watu ambao wanatakiwa waende fedha lakini saa hizi tumefurahia kwa ajili ya huu mradi kuingia bokoli tunajua hatutaenda mbali wao wanaenda webuya na mikuu wanaenda pungoma na mi, wanaenda pungoma ndio wapate kupaziliwa lakini leo vile tume aidiwa tu wanaanza kucheka hiyo theater yetu tumefurahi sana tulikuwa tunapata changamoto nyingi nyingi kwa sababu kama mama ameshindwa kusaa paka tuchukue kari tupeleke webuye ama dreamland ama kimilili ndio wapasuliwe lakini saa hii tumepata Nini hapa bokoli
Eh, mama penina nandako, akawa chisako shewe msiye muwadi i matulo. Asabe bakali beshe, kuba nende mweko kawa bisako hulie akawa. Awala mundu mkali na hali kuchisako abe nende maendele manyishi hulula kubira mundu musanza. So, Aimizi, bandu bisha kali kuba eh, meso kukawa bisako buwe musiye nende bisako vindi vinyishi. Awali yaka alawa bere muku tano kubere mune nende reporta weru Wilson Shibia Mwianzi. Mai penina na andako ula sarange shifumisho buwe musiye mwadi ya matulo. Are nyanga abakaye okuirusu ya kumyishi nende kupanda efumbi fesiasa. Ili besi wanyara kuba viongozi na walari abakaye wabendo mnyari ukurera maendeleo zaidi ukaya abasata. Nenya kubo lela baba andu besi kaye baba anaba kana bali yuzi. Mkari ya kuku ima visa ala binota. Fuezina kuinyo kamala kwe kwa baba andu bakali. Fuezi wala kuelesi ya eshima. Baba andu besi ya jabano kwa baba pila chukura kimi yaka kimi kali sana. Yes, mwisho ya kubanyo langa waeni. Ngebeja saa ibeja be kunja be kunja basaba. Ngoba waelesi ya okaba nyole mupabe kale kustuli ndei. Nebaba andu. Mare nyosa mnyala mwole buwe neita. Kwa hivyo bama hii, Rusia, kubene ndevu sime, kusima ne kabisa, kuleke kile kono kwa pechanga na inaya kalemba, akanyo ina ya nyala sinano. Efwe kunyala. Ngesene kembole ndi nanda kese nyala. Na mumbe, lesia sisa, lesia siyo, ndamu kole kasi nda hii, kutumanie kolele ino. Kano wani kanlea mahina ndako alombire esebere ya wasitati muwadi ya matulo na wala ari abu kwa natuwa ino ili konya wamenyo wanyore amazi ama lafu. Wakati nilikuwa natembelea hao wa mama nikuwaomba kura na hao pia wakawa na shida na wakaniomba nikuche nitengeneze hapa mahali na ndiyo hii siku nimekucha kutengeneza Nataka wa mama wangu wakue na afya, nataka waze wetu wawe wa safi, mahali wanatoa maji iwe na usafi. Hii tu ni mwanzo na mungu akinichalia nitafanya mengi. Na ninaomba watu wa matulo waniunge mgono kama mama. Na mama huwa anaelewa. Vile nilikuja hapa nikaona mahali vile inafanana. Na nikafaa hiyo chatu ya hao mama wa matulo na nikaona ikanitosha kabisa. Kwa hivyo nikasema nikitengeneza wakuwe na afya na hao watakucha kunipikia kura vizuri. Menywa bewadi ya matulo betomie omkhaya na andako na wabu wala wari umuda mrambi wakabandi wangwe sanga amase amachafu. Esa bero ye fwe balanga bari esa bero ye wa sitati. Na wana esa bero ye yo abero ye wane kasaruli rukadi. Lakini mai kaka kuhole rasisa sahihi kuhuko kujia kunyoka mje gari kama lai. Ma mai uefu au ichelewa mai peni na nanda kwa kukasa ni alikaa kuhole. Abel kunyoka mje gari mje kama chafu kunyoka mane chafu ata kunyoka mane jimbwa. Lakini kuhasi mire mai umu lai mai umu sime kaka kukumbuke mara kile chile kuhuko na rasa bure kuna busa angafu kazi kile kujia kunyoka mje gari kama lai. Ma yikuwa kusimira wenye gumu ya kuwa kwa mwenye rahuti la kumu kwa kuwa manusi yao njoo nyori mwenye raba wachi ya kwa. Esese di chama ni weba tuluku ne sebere ino hii eri mu mukunda kweba tuluku umu umsa kuru la nguvu ali sitadi no no sima mai u orho we rende wodi mala kichire siku ya luno alikuwa kuyeta. Alikuwa kungo nere sebele, e sebele ino kwa nya akane sana. Yapo moka, kusende ika matosi, ne unyoku utaka meji. Chiherechi ya mamukari, na mkuni ya mamukari, kucha kuchuka muzongo, mare kure raburuwale. Na unu kwa asi mire mai, nga aliko kera ni na sisa ala sinu. Mga kechi la nanu, mara alikuwa kuomba kire e sebele, e suku ya runu. Kwa amu si mire sana, mara alu ndi muti njiri si andiko oo. Mai, ima busorio, rundi yeta kukundi, maro wende lebsa, kuhirano orio, na ifuwe fuwese kwe bili rekota, kwa kubo nene chimoni, sikira wejire huku round. Mama nataka kushukuru sana, sababu tumeteseka juu ya hii maji. Ni watu wengi tumelia MCA nani nani wakujwa kutu onini wa tusaidie sababu ya hii maji. 
lakini hakuna lakini nini kulingana na uwezo wako ona ulisikia mwito na ukakuja unatuundia maji mama kwenye unaenda tunakuombea baraka na fanaka huko mbele ni report ya ya western yota ukurla muadi ya matulo mkaunti ya bungoma esie ni shivia wa mianzi Mheshimiwa Nixon Kukubo ya Sinjira Ikura mwaka kwa 2007 nende mwai kibaki aboli atabomu itepe mwaka kwa 2022 ku na haba chisako shuvu rice ya kunyora ka hurula report iru nali bungoma Wario mhangara ni we shumbi show rice umakwa 207 Nixon kukubo alabolanga arikha ndo umakwa na kwa 2022 alaba muidebe. Kukubo alabolanga ari viongozi abaluya wa khairwe kwa ambasi abaluya na ndakubele si umweleke umulei na walari ndiyesa ari munafasi ndi ya lelesia abaluya umweleke um. Mimi Niki Kukubo muaniachu wa urais kutoka makaribi ya Kenya. Muna kumbuka historia yangu. Nilisimama na kibaki 207. Na wa Kenya wote wanajua mimi ni mtu wa msimamo, si mtu wa kurudi nyuma. Safari hii niko nimeanza safari yangu na niko naenda mpaka kwa Tebe. Rais hila natakikana Kenya ndiyo tuonge mambo ingine hii nitafanya mazuri, sijui nitafanya nini. Tunataka rais ambaye very strong highways rudi nyuma. Peke yake ata ufisadi hii. Hawange wachia watu kama hui na ni hawa hawa ya tunasimamia ufisadi. Rais peke yake ndiyo natakana kusimamisha ufisadi. Akitoa onyo kwamba ukipatikana na ufisadi, cha kwanza tutakuchunguza. Na ukipatikano umefanya ufisadi, hiyo mali lazime itarudisho kwa lazima hata yako hilo ulichenga, ama ulibilabu tulinyakuo kafanya mambo yako, na kutokea hapo ufungwe ama uchukulia watuwa yoyote, na upikwe marufuku miaka ishirini, uwezi wana ofisi yoyote Kenya. Lazima tuwe na sheria mzito za rice, rice, na watu wake ameweka kwa kikapo. Uwezi kwa keusa wajaluo kwa raila na raila ndi anawania rice. Ukienda sahi kwa wanandi, uwezi kukeusa wanandi na ruto ndiyo anaenda kuchukua urais. Ukienda e, maundi Kenya, wanasema ile e, uhuru atasema ndiyo watafuata. Ukienda ukambani, utakuta e, e, kalonzo, yala anasema ndiyo ile wakamba sahi wanasema, wanafuata. Sasa sisi tabu ilioko western ndiyo hatuna. Ndiyo kusudi nimesema hao wabu watu wametoroka wameni wachia western wacha ni nyoroshe wacha ni buni mlembe kingi to mpia ikuwe e, na muelekeo wa kuleta watu pamoja Handi kukubo nendaba fuasi babe vandisi omkanda kwa mulembe kingdom lewa wala bari nuko kwa la nyala okubukula oguruchi walirobali ya kenya kwa sababu ya kilio ya watu omakaribi sisi tumeamua tunabadilisha uongozi. Tuko tunabuni uongozi wa mulembe kingdom kuanzia leo tunataka tuchakue king. Ambapo tarehe 12 mwezi ujao mwezi wa 10 mwezi wa pili. Tuko na rally kubwa sana ya kufanya launching katika post the ground Bungoma. Tuna prepare kuchakua king na nyinyi viongozi ambaye ni watu wa Luya unit Nyinyi viongozi ambayo kusema sijui Luya spokesman atujaona akiongea mambo yenu imeisha at least you have a direction these individualistic ideas yenye hawa viongozi ni tuko nao saa hizi ndio wanaleta shida juu haujatuambia sababu gani ulienda na ukajificha ukaenda usiku hiyo ni kazi ngumu sana tumeshindwa ni nini nilikuwa nikitafuta sana sasa sisi tumesema present kukubo asimame imara tutaunga ye mkono tutachangie ye na tutasaidia ye alafu tumwone kabisa direct paka state house sisi tumepuni e, mulembe e, luya kingdom na hii mulembe king kingdom it is nani political kwa sababu ni kasi yake kuleta nini politicians together and give them the advice we are also saying that 
we have other uh, we we have a spokespeople a uh, spokesman where they were waluya like in this one they have done nothing and you manaki to record teaching we had to start from behind na tukakuji tukawona ya kwamba mbaka tuwe na kingdom ile ambaye itakuwa above na reporting ngara ya western nyoto hulam county ya bungoma sie ni shibia umianzi Waziri weru wa usafiri James Masharia aboli batema ni team yeye kutema kama nyala kupungusa ijamu ili kumwanda kwa Uganda Malaba ijamu hii ibukule zaidi ya kilomita 100 na ripoto weru eh, Wilson Muyanzi leka akwe history mbran that it has been a major concern to us that uh, we have been meeting as ministers uh, EAC level, transport level and health for the last say two to, to three weeks uh, virtually but those meetings have not uh, borne fruit so this time it was decided it was important we come here in person to make sure we come and see what is going on at Malaba. The key thing is to make sure that uh, the adverse impact of this backlog ceases to be within the next few days. Uh, it has impacted on health because you can see those trucks lining up up to 70, kil 70 kilometers. There are health issues which are created by them on the Ugandan side as, as well. And then the trade, that's why Madam Minister, because you can imagine the goods being held by those almost 4,000 trucks. It is adversely impacting uh, the trade uh, in, in, in Uganda. And so it was important for us to come here uh, to make sure that uh, we make decisions which are time-bound. We said that by Wednesday next week, we want all these issues to be cleared and the backlog to be cleared um, permanently. That's why we are taking hard-core decisions, like, for example, suspending uh, the way bridges, suspending the scanning, you know, increasing the labor force, uh, which is here, uh, just to make sure that those issues are addressed. Also the softer issues where complaints have been made that there have been mistreatment of drivers on both sides. So the security agencies have been briefed and they'll be meeting every week to make sure those issues are you know, eliminated. We have directed uh, us as ministers that the teams should be meeting regularly and update us as appropriate because we don't want to be coming here again at ministerial level. This is a matter which also concerns our two heads of state and uh, we have to report to them to make sure that uh, it does not recur again. Mabo ya miodo misingi tutaenda kuangalia sasa. Tuna companies kama hizi Kenha zinaangalia upanuzi wa balabala na mahali tutakuwa tukisema kuna tunataka kupanua tutaweka pesa ya kuhakikisha ya kwamba hiyo barabara imapandiwa Saturday tumechukua amri ya waziri wetu wa Kenya na amri za waziri za Uganda ya kwamba it contest the highway and we started on Saturday evening and so far we have shortened the distance from 20 kilometers sasa tumepaki na kilomita sita and we are interested in reducing the two kilometers back in Vika Waybri so that we have normalized the situation. To me, I can say that the officers who are for order, Uganda Revenue Authority, the KRA, security officers, immigration officers, and other stakeholders within the one border, uh, one stop border post. Ya Kenya na Uganda na tumefaulu We have managed to reduce the congestion to a distance of 6 kilometers We are remaining with 2 kilometers so that we can say we are okay We are really in very supportive I may find that it is very easy Na tunaiza sema within tomorrow Tutakwa tumemaliza iyo shukli ya contesting the IU Sisi katika uh, sekta ya usalama polizu wamefanya kazi yao Kulikuwa na matrailers ambazo sinapaku kumaratatu on the way Ama the whole of the, the, the highway 
triple parking, double parking. For next time, the people on the left do not use the highway. They are no, now using the shoulders, the parapara. And uh, it was inconveniencing the other road users. The users. Now, to me, Fungua is a parapara. To me, Skuma Malori, who are and then they are outside of the road. But they are moving slowly. They are being processed. They are gone personally to the other side of the one stop on the post and supervise the what they are doing. Uh, the issue is on the Ugandan side, not on our side. Those uh, coming into Kenya, that uh, the officers are walking around the block to clear, and we are really cleared now. We can say now there is a smooth flow of traffic between our two borders. It is only today we are going to mop up the remaining vehicles. We are appealing to the business community to start moving their vehicles now and doing the business with the Uganda and beyond. Mama Lydia Nawire asavi bandubosi vi ifunyula kutira ikura. Aburiaka alwa vere mukutano mukaundi ya busia mwene obunge lifunyula. Wa reporter weru Jobik Ojanji avere. Dafunyole manyishi kurula reporter weru Jobik Ojanji. Tunahimiza viongozi wa kanisa. Tunahimiza political leaders wote. Tunahimiza wazazi wote. Wajitokeze kwa, ku, kwa kuhimiza watoto wote. Mahali wako kwa ma, kila pahali wakuje wapige. Wajisajili ku, kwa kushika kura. Waeze kupiga kura. Atafadhali IBC pia ipate innovative means. Kama niyo mobile structure. Tungependa tushikamane na washikadao wengine. We know we have uh, NGOs. Tuli work so hard to kona kwamba world division imekuja hapa funyula. Right? Tunaomba other development partners, be it the county government, be it uh, people who work in the government like Lydia. What I'm saying is, ndiyo tupate watu wengi waweze kuja kwa hii sajili, we must approach this issue with a, a multifaceted approach. Tumetembelea shule saba, tukigawa desks kwa watoto, vile mnajua kwamba sasa sahi wakati wa COVID, watoto wanafaa wakikawa wache nafasi. So desks pia ni chache kwa shule. So tuliona at least tuweze kuongeza madawati kwa mashule. Watoto waezi kukaa kama hawako pamoja sana. Tumejitoa mahanga kwa ya kwamba tumeza kupiga jek shule. Na kwa kupiga jek shule tunapiga wanafunzi wetu jek. Tunaweza kupiga walimu wetu jek. Na in turn walimu watafanya kazi yao kwa njia ambayo ni mzuri. Na watatolea watoto ambayo wamesoma. Na hiyo elimu ditawasaidia katika maisha ya bada. Ya bada. Tukiangalia department ya fisheries. Eh? Tuko na... Watu wengi sana huko, karibu 10,000 of them. Tunataka wako huko mbali, hata hawa access internet. Tunawaimiza watu viongozo waeze kuona kwamba jambo linawafikia, waeze kujisajili kura. Mobilization. Wanafaa kukua na barazas na waweze kuelimisha watu mambo ya voter registration. Mobile stations hizo zineza kutumika vizuri sana pia kwa kupasa hiyo information. Hiyo Lake Victoria, tukuna zile islands ambazo vijana wetu wanapatanga fursa kutoka hapa kwenda kutajitafutia riziki. IBC iweze kuwa a bit innovative. Kama itabidi kupanda boat. Yeah. Kama itabidi kupanda boat. Kama itabidi kwenda kwa kwa maji Lake Victoria ili watu wetu waweze kusajiliwa, tungependa hivyo. Manake tunasema hivi, viongozi wabaya wanapigiwa kura kwa sababu watu wazuri hawakupata fursa ya kupiga Bibu di Bavidi, Humira, Fanu Nawiri, Nende, Fidoricas Nawiri, Hurla Mukaundi Abusia, Vasa Gameni Babusia, Hova Honya, Namangondo, Namokuchandita, Niposa Vanava Babaka, Vingila Mutu University, Valangomo, Valangomo, Yaka Abodi, Babodi, Lubere, Mukuta, Lubere, Nende Reporter Wiru, Jopik Ojanji, Nadi Busia, the Horsa Jopik Ojanji, whose story Hobakonola Manish. lakini lakini siku fauli kujiunga na chuo chochote cha cha kuendelea na masomo kwa, kwa sababu ya ya shida ya karo na hata pia school fees ilifanya vitu zangu za hili za sleep hata pia hadi saa hii ina ya school fees sasa ndipo tuna tafuta wahisani kama naweza pata kuchukua hiyo result slip ndio nione kama naweza endelea na masomo
maybe na school fees Iki, ikiwa sitapata kare ya kwenda huko kwenda university maybe nitaendelea na uvuvi ama ndimie watu ndo niweze kujikimu maisha yangu na maybe itatokea kuanzisha familia mapema na kupata watoto so kusoma tena kupata maisha maisha magumu huko mbele na ida pata mtu yote kunilipia karu pia mimi na nijiunge na university nikaweza kusoma ile course ambayo nilipia ah okay sasa kwa majina naitwa Christopher Masiga mimi ni afisa wa serikali na ugatuzi ya Busia na mimi ndio mwakilishi wa hii area ya Mundere sisenye kwa mwenye na Budu Busia kwanza ningependa kushukuru kwa habari wetu ambayo naongoza na Janji na Kalistos kazi njema ambayo anafanya especially eneo letu la Bunyala sub county Uh, kwa jumla wamekuwa msaada sana especially tukikuwa na issue ambayo ina touch wananchi wetu wa Bunyala na Busia County kwa jumla. Ah uh, uh, ningependa kusema kwamba hii familia nimeijua kwa jumla ya wiki moja ambayo imepita na kitu ambayo ilinivutia sana ni kuona kwamba hii familia inaendelea kushuka chini sana sababu kuna hii familia kuna watoto wanne ambao walipata grade nzuri sana ya kwenda university lakini licha kwamba wako na uwezo mdogo hiyo familia ijeanzishwe hata kupeleka mtoto kwa university yoyote venye wamesema mwanzoni uh, mmoja ameenda ameenda NYS baada ya kupata grade ya B+ na hii grade ingemwezesha kufanya kosi mzuri ambayo alikuwa ameitoa engineer lakini licha kwamba walikuwa na uwezo mdogo hakuwezeshwa na akaenda ya NYS wa pili aliitwa um, Chuka University ambaye ni msichana unajua msichana ana changamoto nyingi sana hata yeye amekuwa na uh, baada ndo take kuzimia alikuwa anaona kwamba aenda oleke na aanze maisha uh, machanga sana sasa kama anaweza saidika aende university ndo take itakamilika uh, tu huyu kijana pia aliitwa Rongo University na niliona kwamba kama hata isaidika labda alikuwa anafanya alikuwa anafanya kazi ya ukulima na kazi ya uvuvi asiposaidika at this stage itafika wakati aanze ndoa ya mapema na ndoto yake isikamilike. Sasa kwa jumla alikuwa anaomba wahisani Kenya mzima kama unaweza pata wahisani ambao unaweza idizi familia ili familia isaidie kwa toende university na pia huko mbeleni watasoma wapate kazi pia wewe waanze kuwasaidia wa, 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 watu wengine katika jamii yetu ya kwa majina mimi naitwa Fanuel Wire na Wiri kutoka hapa Katandogo ya Bdalangi kaunti ya Busia mimi niko na watoto wanane kwa saa hii lakini kuna watoto wawili ambao waliitwa university lakini kufikia hivi sasa niko na watoto watatu ambao waliitwa university lakini hawajafanikiwa kwenda university mmoja aliitwa Chuka University mwingine akaitwa Rift Valley University mwingine akaitwa Rongo University lakini hakuna yeyote ambaye alifanikiwa kwenda university. Sasa ilinibidi yule mkubwa ambaye aliitwa Rift Valley ambaye anaitwa Isaya Nawiri nikampeleka NYS ambapo sasa ndiye anafanya huko, anasomea huko. Lakini hao wengine nimejaribu njia zote kusaidiana majirani zangu kuchangisha mpaka vile walisoma wakamaliza ma secondary school shule za secondary. Lakini sasa vile imefika sasa grade ya university nimeshindwa kabisa nimejaribu njia zote nimejaribu hata majirani zangu sasa pia wamenichoka nilisaidiana nao kwa mambo ya university ya secondary sasa ya university nao sasa wameshindwa pia wapi wanaweza kufanya kwa sababu watoto ni wawili na vile wanaweza kufanya nikashindwa sasa wamekaa tu nyumbani sasa kama huyu kijana naye hata vitu zake walikatalia shuleni alikuwa anasoma Jonosogo secondary school vitu zake zilikataliwa baada ya kunyakuwa nini ya B minus hii school fees kwa kibarua kwa napata challenges mingi. Unajua pia kama mwanadamu saa zingine unaweza fall katika hizo challenges kwa sababu saa zingine naona ni kama hii ndoto ya kuendelea na masomo na kuinua familia inakufa. Sasa sometimes kwa hata nakuwa convinced kwa sababu ati naweza pata mtu kama mwanaume mwenye anaweza nisaidia maybe hata nikikubali kuishi na yeye alafu amaliza nipeleke shule. Sasa hiyo ndio huwa inakuwa hofu yangu wakati mwingine nikiona kwamba sina kara eh kwa nafikiria hizo saa zingine hasa ni sponsor idika maybe naweza jikuta kwa ndoa na nikuwa nimeua ndoto yangu na hata pia nitakuwa nimeua na familia yote jina mimi naitwa Joseph Onyango Wolu 
mimi ni kwa kijiji wa Kenya Goes lakini hapa kwetu hapa tuna watoto wanaenda shule lakini hatuna mkaro ya kupeleka mtoto shule ni nimeona ni mzuri sana wale wamekuja kutembelea kama waandishi wa habari kama wanaweza kutafuta mfadhili achukueka watoto waende shule kwa maana kwa hii boma watoto wako waine wamepita vizuri ukari imekataa sasa mwingine iko kwa Wanyes anatafuta kama anaweza kukaa lakini wengine mmoja kama mfulana mfulana mwingine sasa amebaki nyumbani anaenda tu kulimia watu anaenda baharini sasa tukiona namna hivyo hata anaweza kuolea kuoa mapema sana kama msichana yeye ika hapa analima ana, anaenda tu afanye kibarua apateko shilingi 20 hata anaweza kufaidika apate pesa ya kwenda shule lakini yeye itosi baba yake anaenda baharini atafute hakuna tumechangia wao kuenda kwa kwa, kwa, kwa sikuli ya secondary tumejaribu tumejaribu wamaliza wamali fomu lakini sasa atuoni mahali wa anaenda yako kahabesa amakeni horula hongana reo western nyota tv ebindu bichenjanga anonio na kuri mamala matangazo mamala nende injero injero yero nyange niko imbua ilonda musoko nyolo kwa nyina imbua ilonda musoko nyolo kwa nyina akorere matangazo nyange no mulange elkana khainga Thank you.